Now to this shocking and sudden death of DJ Stephen Boss, better known as Twitch. The 40-year-old rose to fame on So You Think You Can Dance, and then it became a fixture on the Ellen DeGeneres show, along with rising popularity on social media and for all his uplifting, uplifting videos like you can see right here. Well, police say that Twitch died by suicide in Los Angeles in a hotel room early on Tuesday, and now his tragic death is raising awareness for suicide prevention. And I'm glad we're talking about that. Let's bring in our clinical psychologist, Wisdom Powell, also chief social impact and diversity officer uh, at Headspace Health. Uh, you know, Wisdom, it's a it. Look, we I think we do a good job at talking about suicide prevention uh, on a regular basis, but it really does come straight into the public eye when it's somebody as well known as Twitch. I mean, this is somebody that everybody loved. I mean, he was a self-proclaimed smile spreader, um, but clearly he was struggling behind closed doors. And so just remind us that, you know, what we see is not always w what is really happening in that person's life. It's so true, and I'm so glad we're having this conversation, albeit under really tragic circumstances. Suicide is the 12th leading cause of death in the U.S., and in general, men are at greater risk for suicide than women, and that's in part because men tend to use more lethal suicide means, such as was the case here where gun, um, a gun was used in the, in the commission of this suicide. I think it's important for us to realize that men and boys in particular are often faced with a number of social prescriptions that make it overwhelmingly difficult for them to tell people about their emotional or interior pain. Messages like, boys don't cry, walk it off, take it like a man, can be social prescriptions that many men internalize and that can lead to this sort of performing of, of joy, pouring, it, pouring into the joy of others at the expense of our own radical joy. You know, we were just looking at, we're seeing him now on the Ellen DeGeneres show, um, but just prior to that was a, a video he had just made with his wife. They were celebrating their anniversary, this one right here. I mean, just days before uh, he passed away. Um, and so put into perspective wisdom, do you think there was something going on that 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 they had talked to as, as happy as this looks and, and, and as joyous as it looks, do you think more than likely that they were working on something behind the scenes and trying to to deal with what he was struggling with? Or is this the type of situation where you could have absolutely no idea, even if it's your your wife, your child, whomever, and and this happened? Or is there always some sort of sign? You know, the troubling part about uh, deaths by suicide is that there are often not very many signs ahead of the suicide completion. Suicide often, you know, presents itself in uh, as a surprise to those who are left behind. And many will ask themselves, what did I miss? You know, what could I have done differently? Many people who commit suicide do so without letting others know what they're thinking or what they're planning. In fact, the decision to commit suicide might come just minutes or hours before the act. But with that said, there are often some subtle signals. The presence of suicidal behaviors, talking about wanting to die, um, talking about death more often, increased su substance use and misuse, dramatic mood swings, impulsive, aggressive, or reckless behavior, or social withdrawal can also be subtle signs that something may be amiss. But again, not disclosing that you're in pain and vulnerable in a moment isn't a personal failing. Often it is that people don't have the language or the capacity to really explain or detect what is going on in their interior lives. And this is a, a conundrum that we observe in men in general, something that we refer to as normative male alexithymia. That's a difficulty accessing, expressing, and describing emotions. And this can be more common among men or male identifying humans. Well, we really should operate with just the assumption that everyone around us is struggling and just have more compassion Absolutely. and pay attention to everything. Wisdom, thank you so much. And if you are struggling with mental health distress, including thoughts of suicide, substance, or use or emotional distress, text or dial 988. Free help is available 24-7. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.